Hello, this is Hani Fardun, and I am going to be speaking about communication, and this is video number three. Today, it's going to be about engineering and communication together. You chose to be an engineer for a reason, because you want to be creative, you want to be innovative, and you want to have ideas and construct things. Yes, you're right. But in order to do those things and present them to others, in order to sell your ideas, to sell your thoughts, to sell your innovations, you have to be able to communicate. Communication is very, very essential in engineering. Communication has many parts. It has many, many, many parts, but what I'm going to be explaining about today is mostly presentations, because we as students of engineering now have to make so many presentations and in order to attract the attention of teachers, students, customers, and clients sometimes, and sometimes for your projects. So in order to make a good presentation, you have to know essential points. You have to be able to communicate your ideas and your thoughts to others in a way that they will catch your attention and they will understand you in a clear way. Let's start with your tone. Don't scream, it's annoying. And don't speak in a very low voice because it's also very annoying. Keep your tone at a medium level. Don't overdo it and not underdo it. Just keep the tone nice and friendly. Second of all, it's very important. Eye contact. Don't be too creepy. Don't give too much eye contact because it can get a bit creepy for some people. Just try to look away sometimes and again coming back to that same person, to a different person during your presentation. Try to look at different people and make them feel that you're talking to them. Don't make them feel that you're talking to the wall or yeah, you're talking to the whatever is there. Try to look at them, talk to them. Make them feel that they're sitting there and they're going to gain something at the end of this presentation. They're going to gain some knowledge. They're going to gain some ideas. Make them feel comfortable also. Don't look at them too much because this will creep them out. Don't be angry. It's not nice. Be friendly. Smile. But don't smile like that because it's also creepy. Your body language. Now, this is something very important. The first, let me go back to the first couple of seconds or minutes, depending on how much time the presentation is going to be of your presentation. The first couple of minutes or the first couple of seconds, let's say, this feeling that you get, this adrenaline, this heart in your stomach and your voice, everything feels different. Everything feels uncomfortable. You feel that people are like judging you. You feel your body is like in the wrong movements. So what you have to do is feel comfortable. Know your audience, look at them, smile a bit, and this will reduce the amount of adrenaline that gets into your body, into your heart, into your brain, it pumps and pumps and pumps. This will reduce the amount of adrenaline, will reduce the heartbeat level, and will make you feel a bit more comfortable in order to continue with your presentation.
it is very important during a presentation to use your body language in a good way not in a bad way and what do i mean by good way or bad way body language could either show confidence or could show insecurity or um, feeling nervous and this could be a turn off for the audience they don't want to be talking to someone who's not sincere who's not honest who's not confident with what he's saying or she's saying they want to feel that that person i want to be just like them i want i want to know more you have to make them feel that they are there for a reason and don't make them feel like oh this guy is so nervous no your body language keep it at a medium level don't put your hands up don't put your hands down keep them move them around a bit but not too much movement because this will also show insecurities try to relax as i said your tone should be medium level your eye contact should be changing from one person to another smiling will be nice and one thing to note is that during the presentation don't be distracting because you see this now this is distracting so when you're trying to present an idea or present a project don't put on your board distracting pictures because this really doesn't help seriously don't put a penguin when you are talking about chicken it doesn't work this way talk about something relevant at the same time post on your presentation something relevant because when you post something distracting the people will not listen to what you're saying but they will listen they will look at the pictures and wonder why is that picture there what a nice penguin it doesn't help trust me your appearance don't be coming with a hat people will be looking at the hat and not at your eyes or at your presentation don't play guitar because it's also distracting and what i mean by guitar i don't mean like taking a guitar with you i mean don't be like moving around and making people feel uncomfortable move around when you feel that the, that the audience are starting to fall asleep you can move around and look at them and sometimes ask them questions just to keep them awake just to keep them interested in what you're talking about and now i'm going to be uh, finishing with this um, video with talking in general when you are talking to a person look at them in the eyes look away look at them in the eyes look somewhere talk with a normal voice listen to them when they're speaking don't be like going and thinking about something else when somebody's talking to you or either no don't listen to your thoughts listen to the person in front of you it's very important to be a good listener when you're talking to someone for example your boss you have to be able to talk to that person and not make them feel uncomfortable at the same time listen to what they're saying and reply to what they're saying feedback should be related to what they were talking about and if you want to change subjects try to relate them you can't talk about math and then suddenly jump to talking about food it doesn't work this way now i hope that this video will help and during your next presentations this video was uh, intended uh, mostly to uh, present ideas and how to create a presentation in a way using your body instead of the presentation next time maybe we'll focus more on the presentation itself but now what i focused on is how to communicate and how to use your body language and how to control the nervous uh, system and thank you very much for your time i hope you had a good video